everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and I have got some really cute projects for you this week. Uh, my focus this week on my blog is the Curved Occasions Bundle. Um, this is in the brand new 2023, oh, let's see, I call it the holiday catalog, but I think it's called the Fall Winter Mini Catalog. Anyway, it has all the Christmas and Halloween stuff in it. Um, but this stamp set is not a holiday set. It's so cute. I love these images, some really fun sentiments, and it has this great punch that matches some of these sentiments. Now, I'm not using the punch on this card, but I have several other videos over on my blog and YouTube channel that will use this punch. So if you're looking for ideas, make sure you hop back over there and grab those. Um, now, this card is actually a swap card that I made. I took swaps to a leadership event in August, and this was my card. It was the very first stamp set I cracked open uh, when I got my pre-order because hello how cute is that little uh, roller skate reminds me of my childhood um, I am using also these little stars right here from the little dreamers stamp set okay well let's do the star of the show the roller skates now I really felt like these needed a vintage feel so I've used these rollers this roller skate on two different cards already and both i use kind of what i thought was kind of a retro feel this one's a feminine one here's the other one and it's a masculine color scheme so you know you can go both ways okay i'm gonna take melon mambo and we'll do melon mambo light and i'm gonna color that first little uh row in the rainbow now if you're like me and you're over a certain age you're gonna need your glasses <laughs> for this part. I hate to tell you. Uh, more and more coloring, I am needing to get those glasses out. The, this line is a little bit small and I need to, to grab my glasses for it. Okay, and then um, I believe I did, let's see, I can't even remember exactly what I did, but pretty certain I did Fresh Freesia Light. Okay for the next one. I would have loved these roller skates as a kid. And then bubble bath light. Maybe it's flirty flamingo, I don't know. Flirty flamingo or bubble bath. I think what I have right here is flirty flamingo and I think my sample card uses bubble bath. Whichever. Yeah, I think bubble bath probably would have been a better choice because we're using bubble bath paper on our card. But you know what, sometimes you just gotta go with it. All right, I'm gonna color the little, you know, like the metal pieces underneath with smoky slate light and color in the center of the little wheels. Okay, now grab your paper snips and the first thing you wanna do is cut off all the excess cardstock because it'll get in your way when you're trying to get close to these little images, okay? So cut that off. We're gonna cut these apart, and then I'm just gonna go along the outside, leaving basically a little white border around the image. All the way around. And just stay in the center part of your blade, your scissor blade and turn with the other hand. These are actually called paper snips. These are Stampin' Up's little scissors. You might not think that you need them, but let me tell you, if you're gonna do any fussy cutting, these are awesome. These little bad boys do the job. They make it, they make it easier. I know some people don't like fussy cutting, but maybe it's because you haven't tried these little paper snips. They really are awesome. I have probably a dozen of them stashed all over my house because they're so good at everything. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna um, adhere these with dimensionals onto a, this is um, our nested essential dies banner, the largest one. I'm gonna stamp the sentiment in memento black. Happy dance. Now, like I mentioned, you have a lot of choices here, sentiment-wise, on this with this stamp set. So feel free to change that up to fit whatever your need is. 
Happy dance is kind of like a celebration maybe, maybe even like a birthday. All right, so there's that. Now, for this strip back here, this is super easy, you guys. I have a piece of basic white cardstock that is two inches by five and a half, and I'm gonna take my seal, my stamp and seal, and just add some adhesive, and then I have cut half inch strips, and I'll tell you the colors as I go. I have Gorgeous Grape, and then um, Highland Heather, and then um, Melon Mambo, and the color that I should have used on the skates, Bubble Bath. This is such a fun little girly pattern. But again, remember, if you need a boy card, just change it up. Um, what I actually did for these cards is I Googled retro color pattern. And this is what I came up with, this one and the one I showed you before. So don't be afraid to Google colors. You'll be amazed at what you can find out there. All right, keep going down the edge until we get to the last one melon mambo okay so now either get your trimmer or i just use my scissors and trim them all off this one needs to be just trimmed a tiny bit on that edge there you go and you've got this cute little stripe i think this is actually wider than the one on my sample but i think i like that better actually okay so now let me grab a piece of scrap paper because well i can't grab it um we're going to stamp these stars but we're going to do stamping off which means you stamp in full strength sometimes like this and then other times you stamp off and stamp again so you have a lighter look and actually what you can do is stamp like that and then stamp again okay so stamp stamp again stamp stamp again stamp mm, stamp again stamp and i'm just really kind of doing it in the corners okay all right so now grab that fun strip that we made and if i haven't lost my stamp and seal i'm just going to put a strip of adhesive right across there and you want to make sure that this corner and this corner are in in your on your piece okay that way it'll be completely across like that then take your scissors again and trim i made 30 of these cards and i had strips of paper everywhere <laughs> we watched a movie as i I cut them and glued them and made a huge mess in my living room. All right, now I'm going to use basic black. Uh-oh, I may not have enough. Um, one thing to keep this straight in the middle of this so that it doesn't slip is to lay it down and then take a couple of dimensionals because we're going to need dimensionals anyway. And let me make sure I have it in the right spot. Let's see, like that and like a little bit higher like that and then just adhere that down that'll hold your twine in the position otherwise it starts kind of slipping down all right I shouldn't have taken the backs off of that one where did I put it let's just put a piece of paper right there right now so it doesn't stick to my table all right so tie your bow over here like that Play around with it until it's perfect. And then snip, snip. All right, now grab your, your cute little roller skates and we're gonna do a couple more dimensionals like that. Now you could either, you could go crooked or you could go straight. I don't know, I'm thinking today I wanna go crooked like that. Last but not least, I have cut out some silver or some 
foil stars from new foil paper. This is a, a set of foils you can get in our holiday catalog. Um, Melon Mambo foil. Comes also in Granny Apple Green, I believe. I didn't know I needed Melon Mambo foil in my life. And now that I have it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so I'm going to take um, some of these stars. These stars are from the Give It a Whirl dies. And we're going to put a few, we'll put a big one and a small one and a medium one like that. And then last but not least, I do have a few sequins. I mean, I just feel like we need sequins here, right? I mean, we're kind of going very glam, very girly. So let's add some sequins. All right, last but not least, we're gonna add this to a gorgeous grape card base. One, two, three, four. I like to put one in each corner. We've already put two on the back of there, which will create that height in the middle. And I'm just gonna leave that. Let's see, we'll just, well, we'll just peel it off. Let's put another dimensional on the back of that to hold that so it doesn't slide around. All right, and then put that right there. And there you have it. A really fun non-holiday card from the holiday catalog. All right, you guys, I hope you like this card. Um, if you have questions, let me know. Make sure you hop back to my blog, grab the free PDF, and check out the other. I actually have five Curved Occasions projects in total for you, so make sure you look around my blog. Thanks, everybody. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.